What's up everybody? My name is Brandon Thrasher and welcome. Come on in the garage, check it out, sit down, let's let's take a look at the top down. Let's get the skinny, right? I'm gonna give you the skinny on the uh, Artisan Sneeze Sea Snake. This is a uh, Mike Emler design. If you guys don't know, Mike Emler does have a YouTube channel. Excellent channel. If you haven't checked it out, go check it out. Uh, this is the Kydex sheath that it comes with. It snaps in very well, looks very good. This is a neck knife, but later on here I'm going to install a couple straps on it for a Penix carry so I can give it a shot that way. Anyway, back to the knife. So, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a close up here. We'll come in, give you the close up so you can see the the skinny as I like to call it the beautiful satin blade uh, belt satin blade it is a full flat grind very nice nice G10 handles um, smooth but they got a little texture um, over here you can see that it says uh, AR RPM 9 if I can get it focused where you can see it AR RPM 9 there's Mike Emler's signature right there. Uh, of course, made in China, but it is an artisan cutlery knife. So let's back back out here. And uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's come with the skinny, right? So I'm going to give you the blade stock thickness here. Uh, I zeroed out. Yes, it zeroed out. Blade stock thickness on this bad mama jamma is 0 0.0995, so we're going to say 0 0.1 is what we're going to go with. With the handle is 0 0.397, so 0 0.397, 0 0.4 ish. Um, Overall height, if you were to put a clip in there, you know, uh, out of this, out of the sheath, tallest point, uh, 1.04647. Four uh, if you were to have it in the sheath and you got one of those clips to go in your pocket, then you are talking an easy. Uh, 1.743, 1.744. Um, so, I guess let's get into the length of it, right? Let's do the length. Um, get, uh, so, the length of this bad boy, if you're looking, we put it there. We're looking right at uh, a total of six and three quarters inches. Um, tip of the blade to scale is going to be about uh, about three and an eighth. Uh, actual cutting surface, you're talking uh, about about two and a half inches. Uh, so it's a really small knife, which is what I wanted in a fixed blade for like appendix carry. I want a small knife. So everything here fits my, what I'm looking for. Like I love the Warncliffe blade, uh, the overall length, but the Ergos is fantastic because it's got that choil. Um, so let's check the weight here, guys. Weight. I'm gonna put that weight down there, get it turned on. Make sure we are at L0. We are. So, knife only. Uh, 2.3 ounces. That's pretty dang light, you know. Uh, knife in sheath. I'm gonna guess 2.5. Nah, almost 3, actually. Wow, that's impressive. It doesn't feel that heavy, but. Uh, 2.9 ounces so there again it's still light I'm not gonna really notice it especially in like an appendix carry um, so that's cool um, anyway so that's pretty much the skinny I'm gonna give you guys you know what I mean this thing is extremely sharp 
because it's a full flat grind now I I you know I have a lot of sharp knives flat ground I have a lot of sharp knives hollow ground hollow is usually a little slicier but because this is a small knife uh, it was not not too thick a stock um, and it's full flat grind it is is very slicey and it has the strength which is you know ding a plus right so uh, let me get a screwdriver here because that's what it's going to take when you have to do a strap um, obviously they're pretty easy guys like if you've never done one before uh, you pretty much just unscrew the button it's a button screw pull that off this is captive it stays permanent um, pick your area I'm gonna say actually I'm gonna put it this direction because that's the way I want to access it and you put that little black um, basically collar in there and you feed the screw if you have a magnetic screwdriver well, that makes it a lot easier And boom, one strap done, right? So obviously, I'm not quite sure if I want the second strap way out here yet. I would think I probably do with this small of a knife because uh, I don't want it to like be leaning for any reason. But that's pretty much how it's done. You guys get the idea of what's happening here, right? So I'm gonna try putting it out here and then uh, we're gonna call it, we're gonna call it on that one. We'll call it the skinny boys. Doing, doing the skinny. Uh, I gotta hurry. You got my bees bleeds tonight. I gotta, you know, you guys know bees. You gotta check him out. He does lives every Friday. Awesome guy. Funnier than hell. Um, I love him. Love the old bees, man. Gotta, gotta. I gotta check him out when I can. I also another good one. If you guys are into lives. Um, my brother John over there, uh, Grateful Panic Knife Reviews, he is awesome, has awesome lives, awesome guy, plenty of self. Anyway guys, that's pretty much how you, uh, how you attach these sheaths. And then uh, it's just a button snap, if you can get it to snap, which apparently I'm having issues with, there we go. Uh, button snap, basically that's going to snap on the belt, you know, and uh, but apparently I got issues with button snaps lately. Holy, holy moly. Uh, anyway, uh, it's gonna be something like that. I'm gonna have to adjust this one. It's obviously needs to come down to uh, probably the top hole. No big deal. Uh, anyway, guys, that's it on the uh, Artisan Cutler Sea Snake fixed blade. Uh, it's great, it's a great small knife. Um, I'm gonna carry it like this after I adjust and uh, I'll let you guys know in a couple days my final take I'll give you my final take if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you didn't like give it a thumbs down if you have suggestions for my new top-down view please let me know uh, it is a complete work in progress and something that I'm trying to get used to um, anyway Get out there, do something positive for yourself, do something positive for somebody else, make yourself happy, make somebody else happy, somebody else happy, and uh, I hope to catch you guys in the next one.